what are the different tools of monetary policy? One is repo rate. In simple terms, it means the rate at which RBI lends money to commercial banks for their short term need. So if RBI wants to have more economic growth, RBI reduces repo rate. At the reduced repo rate, banks borrow more from RBI. Banks will have more money. They will be able to lend more. So this will lead to more borrowing and more spending and hence more economic. Another tool of monetary policy is open market operations. Say RBI wants to increase money supply. So here RBI buys government securities. So when I am RBI, you guys are bank. When I will buy government securities from you, I will be paying money to you. Your liquidity will increase. Banks will be able to lend more. More loans can be given to public. It means more money supply and hence more economic. Another tool of monetary policy is cash reserve ratio. It means the percentage of deposits commercial banks have to keep with RBI in terms of cash. So if RBI wants to stimulate growth, RBI lowers CRR. This would mean that commercial banks will have to keep less money with RBI. They will have more money with them to lend. It means there is more credit in the economy and this is going to stimulate growth. Another tool is statutory liquidity ratio. So it means the percentage of deposits which commercial banks have to keep in terms of cash, in terms of government bonds, in terms of gold with themselves only. So if RBI is going to lower statutory liquidity ratio, it means that commercial banks are now required to keep lesser amount in terms of cash, lesser amount in terms of government securities, lesser amount in terms of gold. This also means that they have more money with them now available, which they could lend to the public, which increases liquidity and hence stimulates growth. The tool is moral suasion, in which RBI persuades or advises banks to behave in a certain way. For example, if there is a period of high inflation, then RBI might advise bank to reduce lending.